Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Before I get started, make sure when you subscribe, you hit that notification bell because as we all know, every time a bell rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. So let's make them cry. Now, again, before I get into the meat of this video, have you guys seen, and if you haven't, go to my Facebook page and my uh, YouTube page. Have you seen the video of Sheila Jackson Lee talking about AR-15s? Now, she spent half as much time learning about AR-15s before she goes on national fucking TV as she spends on that fucking, what is that, that sculpture hairdo she has? What is that silly shit? Spend half the time on that, take the other half, and spend it on learning shit before you talk about it. This dumbass got on TV and said that, she said, I held an AR-15 one time, I wish I didn't. What the fuck does that mean? So they're so disgusting, you don't even want to hold them. You see that? You see that how deep the Democrats' racism goes? Even the black Democrats don't want to touch the big, black, scary AR-15. So she got up there with a straight face and said that an AR-15 weighs as much as 10 boxes as if you were moving. It weighs as much as 10 full boxes. And she said the, the ammunition that it takes, a 50 caliber. Now hold on. <laughs> if you know anything about guns, you're laughing with me. Oh, shit. Um, that would be like saying a... It's not like saying anything. There's nothing that stupid. A 50 caliber bullet is like seven, eight inches long. It's fucking huge. And a, a 223 that an AR-15 shoots is like this big. Matter of fact, go on uh, Instagram, or it's probably on YouTube too, Brandon Tatum. Shout out to Brandon. He has a video that he put out that explains it perfectly. He holds up an AR-15 with two fingers, and then he holds up the two bullets. <laughs> Man, that is some, these are the people making the fucking laws that govern our lives. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. An AR-15 weighs as much as 10 boxes? That's crazy enough. But it shoots a 50, do you know how much power a 50 caliber bullet has? If you're near a farm, go hold on to a donkey while it's kicking. That's what it feels like to shoot a fucking 50. Man, get out of here with that shit. I can't even, I can't even put it into words. Just check out the video, Brandon Tatum. The shit will make you either die laughing or you'll have to pick your jaw up off the floor when you see this level of stupidity. And they run the country. Now, Let's talk about it. The big news, breaking news. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> David Lopan. Others might know her as Nancy Pelosi. That disgusting liver spotted demon has announced. She's made it official. They are going forward with an investigation about impeaching Trump. That's right. If they find enough evidence, they will proceed with articles of impeachment. Now, <laughs> now up until what a couple days ago, Nancy was all all against impeachment. She didn't want to do it. It wouldn't be good for the country. They don't have the evidence. It wasn't a good idea. But now you have this phone call surface. What man? What the fuck? So he's on the phone with the president of uh, Ukraine, U the Ukraine, Ukraine, the Ukraine, I don't know. But he's on the phone with the leader of another Eastern European country. So automatically they're doing dirt. 
I've heard reports that he was calling to congratulate him on his his election. He just got elected. Anyway, two world leaders talking on the phone. So fucking what? But they're saying that Trump told him, hey, I want you to investigate uh, Joe Biden. Him and his son are doing some foul shit. I need you to investigate it. And if you don't, I will withhold military funding and military supplies from you until you do what I want. Now, they're talking about... Now, I sat through her 10-minute speech, and man, it was hard. Where are we getting these senile, Michael J. Fox-shaking politicians? You had this idiot, John Lewis, up there, his hands shaking. He can't even hold the paper still. You can hardly understand what he's fucking saying. Where do we get these mush mouth, old as fuck politicians? Same with uh, David Lopin. She's up there. You can't understand every word she's saying. She, um, um, uh, uh, you got a teleprompter. Dummy, can you read? You can't even understand what they're saying. But they're up there talking about, we have su uh, sufficient evidence. We're moving forward. There's this whistleblower. So they're saying that Trump is breaking the law, the Whistleblower Act of 1989 because he won't turn over the letter or whatever, the information about the whistleblower. Now, again, forgive me, I had a public education, but my parents were pretty big on reading, so I read pretty well, I really do. So, I read what the Whistleblower Act is, and it says, it's basically protecting the whistleblower, saying that if you work for a government entity and you're seeing mismanagement of funds, any kind of abuse, uh, anything wrong, you can come forward and blow the whistle on it without fear of retaliation from your boss. So once you're a whistleblower, they can't fuck with you, they can't mess with your job or fire you or mess with your hours or anything like that because you said something. Makes sense? But in this case, from what I understand, they're just not giving Congress the information about the whistleblower. No one's going after the whistleblower. Nobody's fucking with their job. Nobody's harassing him. So I don't understand how he broke a law unless he's harassing this person. But they're all saying on CNN and MSNBC, they're saying that he's breaking the law by not giving Congress the paperwork. You had Donna Lamone, that greasy lip bitch up there, acting like he just won Publishers Clearinghouse. Relax, guys. Nothing's happened yet, and you know damn good and well nothing will. Because you disgusting little dicks were hard as hell when you had the whole Mueller investigation. how that shit turn out? And you dumbasses picked the guy. So we've heard this before. It's Groundhog Day. We've heard this bullshit before. We heard this false conviction in their voice when it comes to we're going to get Trump. We're going to impeach him. We're going to prove collusion. You ain't gonna prove shit. Trump is releasing the transcripts from the phone call he had with President Zelensky today. So just like the Mueller investigation, he had the power at any time to stop it, legally. He could have called up Mueller and said, that's it, pack it up, we're done, I'm tired of this shit. And there would've been nothing anybody could have done. But he did it, because he know he didn't do anything wrong, so he let the shit play out. It's like, Sometimes my son will be going somewhere and I'll tell him 50 to 60,000 times, son, watch where you're going. Because, you know, kids like to turn around and run full speed, right? So if I see him about to run into something and I know it's not going to hurt him too bad, fuck it, I'll let him do it. That's the only way you're going to learn. So Trump said, you know what? Fuck it. I'll let you do your investigation. It's the only way you're going to learn. Did they? No. Nope. <laughs> Nope. I have a feeling if there was a bus that dropped these people off at Cap on Capitol Hill, it would be short. So they didn't learn shit. So here we go again. But remember, you have to consider who's pushing this. All these liberals and this leftist, these leftist mainstream mediocres, if they're excited and happy and thinking it's a good thing, you know it's not. They have nothing. Who's this fucking whistleblower? 
what and what are you blowing the whistle on and, and they said Trump admitted he admitted to wrongdoing because I guess back in June somebody was in the Oval Office interviewing him and they said well if somebody had information on your your opponent would you want it and he was like if someone called me and said I have information on your opponent would I is I'd want to know I'd listen who the fuck wouldn't? You're trying to win. But I don't think that was the case because Biden is not a threat to Trump's presidency. He's not a threat to a second term. Have you guys seen Joe Biden? If he's not smelling a 10-year-old, he can't remember what the fuck he's saying, he doesn't know what state he's in, and he can barely keep his teeth in his mouth. Would you be worried about that? Would you be willing to break the law? Would you be willing to do that when you're going up against Joe fucking Biden? I mean, really? Do you think Trump is that worried? He know. Look, they've been trying to get his ass since he came down that elevator in 2015. They've been on him, up his ass with a microscope. They're probably up in the back of the White House digging through his fucking trash. You think this man doesn't know that? You think this man doesn't know his every move and every word is being combed through? So you think he's going to get on the fucking phone and break the law with another world leader? That's another thing. You got to do your dirt by your lonely. Like my father would tell me, son... Never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Meaning, if you tell somebody and you involve somebody in your wrongdoing, there's a chance that they will turn around and rat your ass out. Haven't you guys ever seen an episode of the first 48? How do you get somebody to confess? You offer them a cigarette and a soda and they will sing, <clears throat> me, 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 like a bird. So I think he's smart enough to even if he did something wrong, and I don't think he did, he wouldn't be dumb enough to tell another world leader over the damn phone. But here is where we are. So how many millions of dollars will be wasted on this stupid impeachment investigation? And David Lopan is only crumbling to the pressure from the broad squad Impeach, impeach, impeach. Uh-oh, we have another piece of, I guess, information about him communicating with an Eastern European country. Collusion, impeach, impeach, impeach. And then in order for him to be removed from office, the Senate would have to vote on it. I don't think they will. But then again, you can't trust them. These fucking rhinos. You can't trust them. They're just as bad, if not worse, than the fucking Democrats. And she said, who is it? The DNI. You know, the DNI, the D, the, the, the D, okay, it's the DNI. Like, what are you, woman, what's wrong with you? So anyway, this dude, and she said, he was a, uh, appointed by Trump. And she said that he told her there's significant significant uh, evidence to proceed with this investigation. Now, he must not be that much of a Trump crony if Trump appointed him, but he's still running to your ass with the information. Trying to snitch. <laughs> Shit. Just go ahead and watch it. I know you... I don't blame you if you can't make it through the whole 10 minutes. But she's up there like a fucking Stepford wife. We have received information. Ha, ha, ha. We have received information uh, 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 about Trump and Tommy Jefferson. It was the craziest, weirdest shit ever. Like, she's up there all fucking ha, ha, ha. All weird. Like, she didn't want to be up there. Like, she's only doing this because she's pressured. Even her stupid ass knows that this is going to go nowhere. She knows it, but she has to do it. She's under pressure. 
You got a lot of, just like this lady I saw the, <laughs> oh man, I should have took a picture, man. I'm behind this dumbass lady in traffic yesterday, and she's in a Prius. I'm telling you, some stereotypes are true. We all know that. They came from somewhere, but she's in a Prius, and she has a dog sticker on the, a sticker on the back with a dog and the Obama, you know, emblem or whatever, and it says, it has a picture of her dog, and it says, I bark for Barack. <laughs> She had a fucking sticker, the Hillary H with the arrow, you know, her her campaign logo. She had that one on there, too, and a bunch of other stupid bumper stickers on there. But you have tons of people like that in these people's district who are giving, who are pressuring them to impeach Trump. And they're only pressuring him, pressuring them to impeach him over the stupid shit you've been telling them. He's a racist. He colluded with Russia. Where? And you dumb fucks didn't learn from last time? So these fools dropped the ball and fuck it all up in the first investigation. So what do we do? Or excuse me, what do you do? What do these dummies do? They give them another investigation. I wish you guys would put this kind of effort, this kind of money behind fixing your own districts behind working together with the fucking president for us. Remember us? Take a good look. Remember me? I'm a voter. Remember, look, over here. I'm, I'm a taxpayer. You Do you remember me? I'm the one who, who gets money taken from my check. I'm the one who votes and puts you dummies into power. Maybe this angle. Now, do you, do you recognize me? Yeah, it's me, the taxpayer. You know, your fucking boss. So why don't you get to work with the president to make my life better? I don't give a shit about these little squabbles and you don't like him because he's shining a light on your corruption and your bullshit. I don't care. I only care about a very a short list of things. And trust me, your guys' feelings are not on it. Why don't you work for us? Impeachment? Make sure you turn that impeachment gun, you put that shit to your head when you're done. Because you fuckers need to be impeached. And she's naming all these congressmen and women. Maxine Waters. Elijah Cummings. Thanking them for their hard work. Have you seen their fucking district, you senile dumbass? you seen the rats and the roaches and the trash and the murder? Have you seen their fucking districts? What are you thanking them for? You seen the, the, uh, <clears throat> what do you call that shit? The gentrification, the murder and violence, the racism, and some of the poorest performing schools in the motherfucking country in Maxine Waters district. But you're thanking her? You're thinking that piece of shit, shit, I mean Shiv, 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 whatever that moron's name is, you're thanking them for what? Worried about some damn impeachment, you better take your ass back to your fucking district and get to work. You know the, in the campaign videos where these fools are wearing, you know, uh, denim shirts with the sleeves rolled up and some khakis and a hard hat looking at some blueprints? Do that. Put on some work boots and a hard hat. Take your ass back to your district and get to work. Get some dirt under those nails instead of coke. Why don't you guys do that? Get some dirt on your nails instead of the cocaine or the pills or whatever the fuck you guys are on. You're on something. Impeachment. Man, you got work to do. It's like, as a kid, you sitting down watching TV, but you haven't done your chores yet, and your parents come in the room. You're in trouble. That's what's happening now. You fools got your feet up, chilling, watching TV, and haven't got your fucking chores done. So now we got to come in here, turn the TV off, and smack you upside your head and get you going. I'll gladly do that. But people, it's time for me to hop in this damn rat race. You know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit that notification bell, 
utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.